This is Wes Ryder. Kim Kardashian West is a bona fide beauty icon. I'm with the modern day beauty icon herself, Kim Kardashian <laughs> West. Known for sharing the secrets to her picture perfect look on social media. Kim always loves a smoky bottom. Love it. Like I need it. Imitated by people all over the world. For a decade, the man behind Kim's flawless face has been makeup artist Mario Dedivanovic. I'm going out like this. I'm going on a red carpet like this. I'm going to say makeup by Mario. <laughs> Ten years ago when Kim came on the scene, she really revolutionized the beauty industry. I mean, there's no other person that comes near uh, that sort of influence in beauty. We ready to be judgmental? Now Mario is a celebrity in his own right with the TV show Glam Masters. His eye work was really beautiful. A cult following of 4.7 million fans on Instagram and a bevy of A-list clientele. Those clients recognizable for a very specific look, now synonymous with Mario himself, contouring. The easiest way I describe contouring is um, it's a diet for the face. It basically makes your features smaller, thinner, more sculpted. I definitely didn't invent it. Uh, myself, with Kim, uh, really popularized it. You brought contouring to the masses. Prior to this, you know, people would look at on TV or, or on the red carpet in magazines, and they would see these perfect, this perfect makeup and these perfect celebrities, but no one knew the tricks of the trade. Thank you everybody for coming. Mario teaches those tricks of the trade to sold out audiences all over the world. During my demo, I'm going to be explaining everything from beginning to end. I'm like this recent master class in London. If you're a makeup artist and you don't know who Mario is, it's a bit like, are you really a makeup artist? <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Excellent. Yeah, 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 his work is speechless. You say you're just a makeup artist, you're not a celebrity, but you do realize you're, you're a kind of celebrity in your own right now, don't you? I'm, I'm a makeup artist, you know, I, my clients are celebrities, like those are celebrities. His success is a far cry from his humble beginning, the son of Albanian immigrants. I grew up in a very small apartment in the Bronx with my family, um, and me and my siblings, we all shared a bedroom. My oldest sister, Vicky, she would wear makeup and she'd tease her hair in the morning, this is like the 90s. I used to love watching her in the morning. I had a little shoe box, a little Nike shoe box, and I would hide all my makeup in there. He worked his way up from the Sephora fragrance department to a weekend gig at Fox News. Soon after, shade he like met his right most right. famous client. Oh, yeah. um, this is the shade Vegas, so I'm applying it just a little bit along the lower lash line. It was 2008. I had been doing makeup since 2000. I got a call from a photographer friend of mine. He said, hey, I'm doing this cover tomorrow with this girl named Kim Kardashian. Um, can you do it? I was like, no, I can't. I, I was like, I, I have to work at Fox. And you almost said no to the yes. job with her. I was not going to do it, but then they were able to kind of switch the times. I just remember thinking how beautiful she was. She loved the makeup so much, she kept taking selfies nonstop. <laughs> Sounds like Kim Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was with a camera back then, not with a phone. She blew up. She started requesting me for everything that she was doing. You know, with a traditional celebrity, they work typically when they're promoting an album or a movie. With Kim Kardashian, it was 365 days a year. It was never ending. But many in the makeup industry looked down on the reality TV star. Mario says his agent suggested he not take Kim as a client. That must have been a dilemma for you. I was told, good luck, because you'll never get a Vogue cover with her. I parted ways with that agency, and I continued on with Kim. How can I turn my back on her? It would be so elitist. You made a big bet on Kim Kardashian. <laughs> it's paid off. Thank God I did, yeah. Ten years later, and the pair are nearly inseparable. They have several Vogue covers together, and on April 5th, the duo released a makeup collaboration, KKW Beauty with Mario. The sleek eye palette and lip kit is inspired by his many looks over the years with Kim, who alongside her sisters has become a titan in the makeup industry, selling out products in minutes and raking in millions. I will take you into my closet. Ooh. Um, this is one of my makeup closets. This is the small one. Inside, a stockpile of Mario's makeup picks. I get sent um, a lot of packages from makeup companies, and the makeup is stacked from floor to ceiling. Now from there, I pick the things I like. I have a wild collection of, of Kylie and Kim cosmetics that I don't touch because I just feel like the products are gonna be so kind of iconic one day.
We got to test out Mario's new line firsthand on our producers. A lot of these shades were all inspired by sort of uh, the classic looks that Kim and I have done over the years. I put obviously this pop of color in here, which is called Libra, because Kim and I are both Libras. I gotta say, it scares me. Yeah. <laughs> that fun. is a bold it's fun, color. Though. I'm gonna go more daytime on her, and I'm gonna use sort of like the classic Kim and Mario golds and bronzes and browns. And then with her, uh, we're gonna amp it up. The results? just like Kim. And finally, what would you do differently on me? <gasps> With this perfection, you look perfect, you look great. I would add a little bit of, I would add a little bit of juicy on your lips. But the look isn't complete without her signature lip. And why the nude lip? I just love a nude lip. I think a nude lip is the sexiest lip ever. It's the classic, uh, Kim K look. Mario also sharing with us some of his favorite makeup tips. First, work the lashes. If I had to choose, one of my favorite tips would definitely be curling lashes. I feel like most people at home skip that step in the morning and it makes such a huge difference on your eyes. Do your makeup in the daylight. When applying foundation or when buying foundation, do it by natural daylight or if you can, really step outside and do it. I think it's gonna make a huge difference. And not every product has to be pricey. Another cool makeup tip that I like to do a lot is instead of using a typical classic highlighter that's usually a powder shimmery highlighter, I like to use an emollient product, something like a Vaseline for a super expensive lip from within glow. I'm Lindsay Janice for Nightline in New York.